I wanted to create another video real quick. Uh, not really consistent. I should be. Anyways, it's on the nature of faith. Uh, you know, in Hebrews 11, 3, it talks about how faith, you know, it. You know, whenever we say that we have faith in something, we mean that we believe that it does something or we believe that, you know, there's no difference between faith in and faith that. You know, our faith is both, it's creedal. So faith in a person means to believe what that person says or what that person is, has done. For instance, saving faith would be faith in the gospel. And to have faith in the gospel simply means that Christ Jesus, uh, by Christ Jesus' act of atonement or uh, by what Christ did on the cross means that we are saved in him alone. Uh, you might also say another way that Christ, uh, you know, faith in the gospel means, uh, entails that I believe that Christ expiated my sins, took away, took away my sins, and therefore propitiated the wrath of God on my behalf. Uh, John 5, 24, uh, he who hears my word and believes has crossed from death to life. Uh, another part, oftentimes it's, it is said that, well, it's not enough to believe. You must also trust. The thing is, believing and trusting are two, are, are two words that mean the same thing. Uh, they're interchangeable. So you could say, he who hears my words and trusts has crossed from death to life. Uh, so there's not like a third element uh, in faith. I know some people like to add in a third element. I, I mean, I'm okay with it as long as they don't start saying that, well, that third element must be works, must be, you know, doing something, you know. Um, Revelations 3.3 3 says to receive what we heard. It doesn't talk about a third element. Uh, there are metaphors of faith. Receiving is one of them. John 1, 12, uh, we receive Christ or we believe in him. Uh, uses of faith is also uh, different. There's a noun, which, you know, basically this means the doctrines that are believed or the verb. Uh, believing in those doctrines. Uh, basically, they, they all mean the same thing. It's the emphasis on the doctrines that are believed. Uh, Romans 4, uh, 5 interchanges the uh, belief, believing and belief. Uh, James 2 does the same thing. 1 John 4, 16. We know and believe. It's not, there's no third element. You know, we know and trust. Sim simply as that. Uh, ultimately speaking, faith is passive. It, it's, it's never active in our justification, nor in our sanctification, um, we are sanctified by the truth. As a result of being sanctified by the truth, we believe. Uh, and as a result of our belief, we do good works. Uh, faith and good works are never confused together. Um, they are always, uh, one causes the other. For instance, in Hebrews 11, it talks about how Abraham, by faith, uh, sacrificed his son. Uh, we don't want to say that faith is the works or else we fall into the heresy of John Piper, Lords of Salvation, uh, N.T. White's uh, 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 heresy. Um, there's also another thing uh, some, in Philippians. I noticed this in Philippians earlier today. Uh, in 1.6, uh, in chapter 2, it uses another word, a uh, Greek word, uh, that it's like pythos, uh, pithos, uh, P-E-I-T-H-O, can't pronounce it, sorry. Uh, but it means the same thing. It's just being persuaded by the truth. Uh, uh, it's a, It comes from the same root word as pistis, which simply means to believe. Uh, we, you know, basically we believe the gospel. That is what saves Uh Many people might have belief in determinism, uh, 
or whatever, you know, there's, or they might believe that, you know, uh, in creation, you know, uh, that God created the world, but that doesn't save, you know, there's some people who believe, well, I believe in God, I believe God exists, but believing that God exists doesn't really save anyone. What really saves is the gospel, the gospel alone, uh, that, that alone saves. It's what Christ did on the cross, what he got done on the cross, uh, for his elect people. Uh, I mean, that's really, I mean, it, I mean, I mean, I do believe and hope to that anyone, uh, whosoever believes uh, any, any believing one that believes whether they be Hindu, uh, whether they be atheists, you know, uh, you know, we, all, we all come to the, uh, fountainhead, uh, you know, from different, uh, sinnings, from different sins, from different, uh, backgrounds. Uh, you know, it's not like I need to be preaching to one particular group. There's different multiple people and, uh, that come from different backgrounds of sinning. But the thing is we all have, we, for anyone to be saved, any elect person to be saved, they have to look to Christ. Uh, you know, of course, I'm not saying some, anything against uh, being justified at the cross. Uh, it's As uh, uh, Chris does say, you know, because we have been justified, comma, by faith we have peace with God. It's not the other way around. Uh, faith is the uh, result of us being saved. Uh, in other words, faith is passive. Uh, we look to Christ as a result of our justification in Christ. And we, uh, you know, we, we do good works because we have been saved, not because we are wanting to be saved or trying to earn our right into heaven. So, all right, that's it.